Kung Fu movies might just be the original Asian fusion, and Bruce Lee is the man who bridged the gap to American culture with a popularity few could have predicted. But what about the man behind the legend? A new movie brings us the story of the master who started it all. There's a reason they say it's love at first fight. Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis. <laughs> Say the words Kung Fu, and one name comes to mind. Bruce Lee. But the latest Kung Fu import hitting American theaters is the story of the martial artist who came before Bruce Lee and taught him the fundamentals of Wing Chun Kung Fu, Lee's grand master, Yip Man. The film is directed by Wong Kar Wai, known for films like 2046 and Chunking Express. And his themes focusing on loss and unrequited love. Featuring international star Tony Long as Yip Man, the Grandmaster adds a healthy dose of intense fight scenes to create a film unlike anything you've seen in recent cinema. At the beginning, I think I just need to train like a year before shooting. But end up, I spent uh, four years non-stop training. <laughs> My fighting scene in, in the rain is the most difficult scene in my acting career. <laughs> we take like 50 overnights in the rain. Every take and every angle may take 27 times. Zi Zhang, known for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, plays a female kung fu master, torn between her love for Yip Man and her desire to avenge her father's death. There's a one scene that was really difficult. We shot in the, the train, train station. station. Because the weather was so cold, I always think Wang Kao Wei can choose anywhere he wants, but he chose the coldest possible. Every night, my hands and my feet are always numb. The dynamic fight scenes of kung fu movies have always captivated American audiences. And most would agree that Yip Man's most famous student, Bruce Lee, was the catalyst for the collision of Asian and American pop culture. Lee and kung fu's influence can be seen all over modern pop culture. From Keanu Reeves in The Matrix, I know Kung Fu. Or in the work of a truly American filmmaker like Quentin Tarantino. Bruce Lee was like, he was the dude to us. Everybody across the world know like Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? He, he's just Bruce Lee. Or even with a group of rappers from Staten Island, New York. Swift notarizer, blue tank, all up in the high riser. Who built a musical empire around a persona called from a 1983 martial arts film titled Shaolin and Wu-Tang. Kung Fu always had a, a part of my life because we used to watch the karate flicks that used to come on at 3 o'clock and come outside and act like we the snake or something. Psst, 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 psst. You know what I mean? Do all of that. Even those from China can appreciate why Americans would share their love of Kung Fu films. Everyone wants to fly. <laughs> and they all want to have this, you know, special ability. The Grand Master echoes the thematic legacy of old school martial arts movies. It's just one big storyline that I can relate to because a lot of these stories is about revenge or or brotherhood, or loyalty. It's an inspiration that stuck with Raekwon through a career that spanned over two decades with his latest single released last week. And proves that while Bruce Lee may have passed 40 years ago, the story of his grandmaster, Yip Man, will continue to shape the Kung Fu legend that endures today. What is the true spirit of Kung Fu? I love to call it um, Love at first fight. I'm Rebecca Jarvis for Nightline, New York. The Grand Master opens everywhere this Friday.